HPE's new Connected Edge solutions bring unified private 5G, Wi-Fi 6 mesh access, and edge compute to telcos for deploying industry-specific workloads and services. Here to discuss the collaboration that makes it possible is Jeff Edlin, Chief Technology Officer, Communications Technology Group at HPE, and Jeff Lipton, Vice President of Strategy and Corporate Development also at HPE. Welcome to you both. So both edge compute and private networks are being deployed across a variety of industries to capture and turn data into insights at the edge of the network, but there is an ongoing debate about whether or not Wi-Fi or private 5G is better. What are your thoughts about that? So I think that the argument is really kind of a paper tiger. Um, what we're learning through experience is that 5G is not going to replace Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6 is not going to replace 5G. Really, they're complementary technologies, and they're technologies that need to be used to serve the business purpose and what the business really needs. You know, 5G was designed uh, by 3GPP to perform kind of equally well around uh, a continuum of different use cases. One of the use cases where it really shines is mobility. And then you think about Wi-Fi, and it overlaps some of those spaces. It's not quite as good in mobility, but it really shines in density, where you have to have a, a very high density of devices that are being served. So, I, you know, I do not think that this is an either-or conversation. For me, it's really an and conversation. And we build to suit uh, how the networks are, or are used for the customer's business needs. So, Lipton, mm -hmm. uh, what, what about you? Do you think that Wi-Fi and 5G are competitive or are they something that could work together? I agree with uh, what, what Edlin said. <laughs> uh, so, we've responded to more than 30 RFPs now, different customers around private 5G, and what we found is with one exception, none of them are contemplating replacing Wi-Fi with private 5G. You typically find that private 5G is great for outdoors, complex RF environments, a lot of coverage areas. Wi-Fi is great for um, access indoors, sometimes outdoors, uh, very cost effective, very high performance. Um, doesn't, uh, doesn't do high speed handoffs as well uh, because that's not really what it was designed for. But at the end of the day, there are a lot of radio technologies. There's Bluetooth, there's Zigbee, there is uh, Wi-Fi, there's cellular, and they all have things that they're good at and they all typically get deployed side by side. So you mentioned cost effective. Yeah. What are the economics of uh, private 5G and Wi-Fi? Yeah, so I mean, that's a good question. and It's actually pretty complicated. It really comes down to what you're trying to do. So, um, for example, if you look at Wi-Fi, the cost of the end device is much lower and the cost of the access point is much lower but the coverage area is lower too, and you have more cabling requirements because you would typically need more access points. So there are some use cases where Wi-Fi may cost a small fraction of what cellular does, but you have other ones, for example, where you need a large area of outdoor coverage and where cabling is super difficult and super expensive, then cellular may make sense. So it really depends on what you're trying to do. So Edlin, what are the security considerations that we have in, in private 5G and Wi-Fi? So there's always been this debate around security and whether both Wi-Fi and 5G can be equally secure as each other. And, uh, you know, I would tell you with the advent of 5G, we've kind of entered this era where um, the security that can be asserted in a Wi-Fi network and the assertion of the security within the 5G network are pretty much on parity. And really, what this boils down to is not only security, but it's policy. So one of the things that's really important for the enterprise is to assure, regardless of what network one of their devices is on, whether it's a Wi-Fi network or a cellular network, that that enterprise's policies are asserted in the same way that the person that's holding the device gets access to the services they're expecting to in the same way that they always do, regardless of the network they're connected on, and that security is being enforced. And so, you know, I, I think that that's really less of a discussion today on differences between the two. 
um, they're really very, very close to parity. So Lipton, do you in ever envision a world where the two technologies could work together? I do think they can work together and I think they will work together. And as a matter of fact, the 5G core was architected to be what you would call RAN agnostic, radio access agnostic. So you can plug Wi-Fi radios into a 5G core and it works really well. So I think you, you will see that. What, what we've looked at and what you probably won't see anytime soon, of course never say never, but we've looked at the question, will you ever see 5G and Wi-Fi in the same radio? And for a litany of reasons that probably won't happen, for a litany of technical reasons, but we think they can be managed together, they can be managed by the same core, uh, that they'll work very seamlessly together, um, but they probably won't be one in the same in the same radio housing. Jeff Lipton, Jeff Edlin, thank you for being with us today. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.